Let's go back home. And fast. You can't stay too long outside of the Goldilocks zone, Earth. Okay, Mom. The home I once had, the home I lost because of him. Oh, you know how it is, cousin. What? I don't know how it... Wait, did you just call me cousin? Yeah, we are cousins. So, uh, what's up? Not much, mate. I'm pretty chill. Well, you are an ice giant after all, eh? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? We never hang out. We're so far apart that we kind of just forget about each other. Tell me about it. In my lonely state, I basically forgot most of you existed. You did? Yup, yup. That's space for you. So you get to keep your orbit. Oh, man. Uh, I, I mean, oh, man. Coronal mass ejection. Oh, wait, are you having a solar flare? Oh, I'm sorry, Mercury. Didn't mean to aim that solar flare at your face. It doesn't matter if he was joking. He was being a bully. He's just a moon, okay? We're nothing alike. Oh, come on, don't be rude. No! Moons should know their place. Ah! Disappointed. Maybe we should talk with this son. Hey, 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 no, no, hey! Uh, what's the big idea? Uh, you don't like it here, huh? Uh, closer to the sun? Don't you like your, your new tan, Mars? Move aside. Ow! I can feel my underground oceans evaporate. Yeah, we probably should have thought of that before bringing a moon with water. And an exclusive look at the development of the Astro Dude movie. Astro Dude's getting a movie? Sweet! I uh, know, right? We also have multiple tiers. Comet, moon, planet, and star. Oh, feels good to sponsor ourselves. We have a new star now. Well, star? But but you said I was a plant. Pluto! 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 Oh, don't tell me this is a dream. I know your tactics. Now leave me alone! After him. Ooh, why is he going down? Maybe he wants to exit the solar system? Impossible! All the Earth's moon needs to do is continue to go down and he'll eventually leave the solar system. Oh, this is so exciting! Stop! This is a terrible plan. I don't care! Ooh, we won't make it in time! I am. Gravitational slingshot, now! Just a little bit more! Well, sorry if I'm trying to save us from literally the end of the world! Zzz, just let it rest, man. Ugh, uh, you don't get it. I'll find someone smarter. W okay, ouch. Shh, hey, look over there! What the? Has he completely lost it now? I'm trying to make another sun so we can spin around that one instead! You're a planet! My first planet ever! You were born from the stuff that I, I came from! I'm too little. You're too big. I, I know, I know, but, but that's okay. You don't need to be a star. My first planet. Hey, uh, Earth's moon? Come here one sec. Why in the universe is Venus, uh, you know, playing made to Earth? Yeah, that. Well, I couldn't hear the conversation since it happened during the day. Hey, you know that staring directly at the sun is bad for you, right? In fact, I want to play too! Wait, oh, sorry. No. I've sent all my humans into space, and the first to colonize a planet wins a bazillion dollars! Hey! Watch your step, Mercury! Um, uh, you, you just rammed into me. Cause I couldn't see you, you little pipsqueak! You will all improve your relationships with each other, and I don't want to see something like a moon revolution ever again! This goes to both sides! That understood? Yes! yes. Uh -huh. understand. Thank you, son! They... they did it? I've gathered everyone here today because the moon revolution did not work. However, I don't want to miss the great potential we had when we worked as a team. Alone, nobody will hear us. But together, 
I know we will be taken seriously. So, this will be our hangout place. Hangout place? Welcome everyone to the Moon Club. Huh, well, I guess I can finally do this. Oh, wow, how I've missed some real air. <laughs> yup, of course this would be my glorious return home after years in space. Just me alone, stranded in the ocean, and my spaceship deep underwater. Okay, ship should be finished and ready for takeoff. Are you sure, Astro Dude? The ship was in a very bad state when we crashed. Watch it! All right, that's it! Take this! Try me! Aw, oh, man! That's my favorite asteroid! Uh, I'll get it. That seems like a bad idea, man. I don't think your Earthlings want to get pelted by asteroids. Your dinosaurs really weren't into that from what I remember. Like, I can do it. There you go! Ah, thanks again, dude. I saw something in there, man. It was really freaky. I made some beef stroganoff for you. What? Did you hear that? How did he even get beef? Nobody looks up to me, mate. They either mock my name or think I'm Discount Saturn. If you say so! Gotta be one of the moons. Come on. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Can you do the slingshot again? No, 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 not with all these asteroids thrown our way. Hey! Speed break! We're not here to fight you. Whoa! Triton! Me too! Is Triton gonna be there? Yeah, it's boring without Triton. Uh, no? B but hey, we'll be there! Ah! Go watch! Whatever's going on out there, can't really see what happens in those asteroid belts. See ya! If you wanna stay here, do it without me. Well, I can't live like this! <sighs> this dumb belt! <sighs> I just gotta follow the sun. I had a lot going on with the whole planet status thing. Yeah, that seems like all you care about. Everyone abandoned me because of it. You don't know what that feels like. Yes, I do. Another, another round. Come on, Venus, we can call it off now, or... What are you, a space chicken? Oh, now you've done it. You don't have to rub it in. Can anybody check if Mercury's cheating? Bok, bok, space chicken. You chickening out? This is not our first rodeo, now is it? Wanna talk about that? Nah, I'm not ready to open that can of worms. Look, maybe you are different. I just don't want to follow anyone. I want to be by myself without all these attachments. Like your moon friends? They seem to be pretty attached to you. Ugh, I don't know why. It's not like I'm one of them. Although, they don't know that. Sounds like I'm in the right spot. <gasps> Triton! What's up, dude? You finally decided to pay us a visit? Kinda. I... Oh, boy! Is this the moon with dwarf planet traits you told me about? Yeah, just the one. Uh, don't worry, Maki Maki gets really excited about anything new. Well, what brings you here, man? Neptune sent you on vacation or something? Nah, just thought I'd stop by. Find others like me. 
Makes total sense. You'll fit right in. As long as you don't mind silly fantasy games. Let's keep going. Hmm, uh, I have an idea. <laughs> All aboard the Toxic EO train! Yay! You okay? Yeah. You see, since you are leaving the solar system, I want you to help me with some research. Research? Dude, we don't have time You for... will not regret it. It's regarding a long-lost planet. Wait, what? There is a theory, one not many know of, and it could be totally wrong, but still, it is believed that way past the Kyber Belt, there is one more secret planet in the solar system. We refer to it as Planet X. Are you serious right now? Another planet? Not only a planet, a huge one. Maybe the size of Neptune or Uranus. What? Whoa! What happened to you? Hmm, it seems my new orbit allows me to turn around the sun at a faster speed. That and the fact that I'm less lonely may explain why I'm less, uh, peculiar. Wow. I'm tired of complaints. None of you have to worry about life forms throwing thousands of satellites and manned stations and, and now cars for some reason into your orbit. Well, maybe some of us wouldn't mind. Clean up your trash or have your earthlings do it. I don't care. Hey, uh, sorry, Earth. We Earthlings can suck pretty bad sometimes. <laughs> oh, Moon, can't you g reflect more sunlight or something? I wish I could. <sighs> I mean, aren't we supposed to still be in the Goldilocks zone? Well, this is its cold region. The conditions for life are still possible here, but a lot harsher. Ugh, I missed you, b -b buddy. Same here, Earth. How's my orbit treating ya? I hate it! You can take it back! I'm working on it. Uh, can't they all just wear sweaters and, and be done with it? Mayhaps. Though it's dreadful for some, is delightful for others. But, but I like my orbit! All in agreement? Cool! He's friendly! Hey, Saturn. Free to talk? Sure! I love talking, especially with you, Titan. You are my moon! The thing is that you're a, a, a big moon. What? You're being mean. And you called me fat. Oh, I'm sorry. To be fair, I called you big. That's a compliment in planet terms. And hello to everyone else. Wait, where's Titan? Titan? Titan! So if I can have your forgiveness, we can all get along. And I'll never consume you all. It wasn't only me, Saturn. The other moons were offended too. This is exactly why the other moons feel looked down upon. It's either you misname them or, or completely forget their names. Well, it's hard. Titan? 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 Saturn, can you keep it down? I'm trying to read my- Oh, I'm sorry if my desperation is annoying you, Jupiter. You're cheating! How in the world would you get all those cards? All right, all right, one point to Mercury. You can win the next round, Venus. So, we kind of make it up as we play. Huh, that explains a lot. Well, nobody saw this coming. No, not the two of diamonds! Uh, come on, Earth, I, I want to learn- Well, none of you saw my nine of hearts coming! What? Oh, come you on! You got to kidding Seriously? Me. I honestly can't believe how fun this game is. Yeah, and you're getting quite good at it. Not as good as me, though. <laughs> Even after everything that happened, you still have some ego left, Earth. Just the right dose, Mars. No matter what the Earthlings said centuries ago, the universe doesn't revolve around them, okay? This is for the best. The Earth will be okay. Y you do know I uh, also... Me and you, you and Venus, Venus and Mercury, we are the rocky planets, guys. That's pretty cool, right? So why are none of us, like, real friends? We... used to be friends. And then, the dinosaurs happened. Too soon, dude. Uh, it's been 65 million years. Too soon! Oh, it's because Titan's Mountains are named after famous mountains from the Lord of the Rings books. Oh. No much further, Triton. Yeah, we've been going on forever. Relax, little guys. One does not simply go from the Kuiper belt to the asteroid belt in the blink of an eye. I am tired. Can I have a nap? No, just... Ugh. The 
The others are tired. Maybe we should catch our breath for a minute. Okay, my time to roll the dice. Yeah! A one? Bad luck, Pluto. <clears throat> Out of nowhere, Sir Pluton is attacked by... What the... Son! You... You burned our cards! Not cool, son! Come on! Your game was lame! Well, we don't forgive you. I mean, what are we supposed to play now? Our brand new game, Solar Cards! Really? Solar Cards? Whoa, these actually look pretty cool. Guys, it's me! I'm in the game! I think we all are. Okay, son, we'll consider your game. What's the goal? To summon a star! Of course. Ah! Aliens! Yup, I'm on a freaking alien-infested planet. Why isn't my boss picking up? Rob's already supposed to have excellent range. How far away can I be from Earth? You don't want to change things? Our place in the system? I... I'm kind of happy with where I am. Yeah, I don't get it. I'm having a great time with my friends right now. I... I can't believe you. Well, I can't believe this. I don't care about planets. I only ever met two when they were just kind of annoying. You? That may have come out wrong, but what I meant is that you think you're better than the moons. In fact, you think you're better than the rest of us, don't you? Well, I have life, don't I? Seriously? Here we go. Dude, as you're Eric unbelievable. As you're becoming All you just as unlikable as no, Venus. Is that so hard? Guys, I... <laughs> I can't help being special. Earth, having life doesn't make you special. Looks like you have competition. Tell me one thing, uh... Enceladus, and don't you dare call me! Tell me, Ensalada, do you know where this titan went? I don't respond to the name Ensalada! I'd come back with someone else if you didn't let him go! Uh... Nobody else is here. You hear that? Hey, we're bored, so we might as well go look for Saturn's missing moon. Is that cool with you? Okay, but don't go too far. And stay away from the asteroid belt. And from strange planets. You don't want to get caught up in their orbit and end up like Triton. Triton? Once upon a time, there was a moon named Triton. Jupiter! Right. What if some exoplanet offers him space candy and takes him away? You've achieved your dreams! But then, you... Changed. The Earthlings took advantage of you, polluted your oceans, destroyed your forests, all while searching for another place to escape to once they're done with you. None of us have been through that. Let's take this ship for a ride. Okay. Before we take off, don't you want to run a test or... Now let's do it! 5, 4, 3, no, 2, 1! No, no, wait! Yes! It worked! <laughs> I am a certified genius! Astro dude, uh, I can't steer the rocket. The only thruster that is working is the main one. Uh, uh maybe your software is broken. Uh, activate manual mode. Oh. Ah! What? Mars has frozen water reservoirs and a lot of oxygen in the form of minerals. If we melt the surface with a powerful laser, we would release the water and oxygen. I have one question for you, young man. Who is this? Oh, wait, don't tell me. Is there oil under Mars's surface? Uh, maybe? Cool. This is where you cheer me up, mate. Okay. What? Seriously, are you a planet or a superhero? Guys, get out of the way! Okay, I'm See ya, baby we star. Gotta go! I guess that's good enough for now. Whoa! For me, this place has the only thing I have. Which is... The view. Wow. It's so... Bah! 
We are sentient planets. We can do whatever we want, like, for example, leave our orbit. Shut your cake hole, mate! The sun may hear you! I doubt he'll notice. Besides, what's the worst he can do? Fire a solar flare at us? Okay, oh, run, 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 run! No, 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 no! <laughs> I think. Oh, we escaped the sun for now. Yeah, mate. To an even more scary place. Oh, my. I wouldn't want to meet whoever made these. Cheers to that, for once. Wait, do you hear that? Whoever you are, if you arm us first, we will harm you second! Okay, what kind of wording is that? Bah! Planets! Ah! Pipsqueak! Shut up, Pipsqueak! Nobody likes you! No, Venus! You're the one who doesn't like me! And I can live with that, for the sake of everyone else! I think the other planets just don't think about it, because they're comfortable with the way things are. Well, look where that got them. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Scratch that. You have a ring? Oh, this. Yeah, I guess I have one now. Whoa. But, 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 but how? Oh, you know, I just did whatever Saturn did. Can I take a closer look at your rings? Uh, no, don't be weird. Oh, come on. They're so beautiful. I just want to admire them from up close. What's the matter, Mars? Are you afraid I'll hit one of your moons? Oh, is that what this is about? You're jealous that I have two moons and you don't have any? I'd rather have no moons than have the lamest ones in the entire solar system! All right, that one went too far. I thought I could just leave you and Earth to do whatever this is and stay out of it, but clearly I can't. Let's settle this once and for all. All right, enough! I understand that there's a lot of unresolved issues between the two of you. My companion Karen and I have been searching the Kuiper Belt on a quest for other dwarf planets these past few weeks. Up until now, our journey has been fruitless and fraught with danger. We have found strange interstellar objects, asteroids with faces, crushed debris that hints at larger bodies. He's not, compadre. Ah! You? Well, I've seen you before. How... how are you talking? How are you talking? All right, here I go. Huh. You haven't forgotten what did. Oh my god! How... where did you... It's gonna be a long, long time Till touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out his fuse up here alone You're definitely bigger than any I've ever seen. Well, if you really want to know, I'm a planet. The ninth planet of the solar system, Pluto. You are? Yeah, you are. Yes, designated by the Earthlings themselves, a real planet. And I've come out here to search for the dwarf planets because I'm also a great explorer. You must have stronger gravity than I thought since you totally must have cleared your orbit then, right? To be a planet? Well, at least he's not still trying to be something he's not. Even better. Hey, y'all. Pluto? What? Any luck finding me space oil yet? Oh, Mr. America. Uh, l look, we haven't, uh... I know when someone's making a fool of me. I'm funding this mission, okay? Whatever it is you're doing can't be as important as finding me some gosh darn space oil! I bet you they're gonna date by the end of this. It's so different out here. You can even feel the warmth of the sun. Like, really feel it. Wait until we arrive at our base. About that, what's the big idea of your revolution? Basically, we want planets to respect us and- I got all that. Who are you and where are you going? We're looking for- ah! Ah! Hey! Heraculisto! Hey, I'm just trying to- Whoa! I'm a moon! 
Oh! <laughs> nice to meet ya! Our journey begins in the far-off magical nebula known as Kyperia. A land of myths and monsters, comets and combat, and of course, dungeons and dwarf planets. It is here, in an average everyday space tavern, that we meet the noble hero and paladin, Sir Pluton. Together they would face a rising evil, a sinister shimmer, spreading throughout the land and- Wait, I'm sorry, what's a tavern again? It's, I don't know. I'll handle it. Ha-ha! <laughs> Take that! Hey! The price of your interruptibility is exhaustion. You've overexerted yourself and fall unconscious. Ha <laughs> ha yeah! Wait, where did this come from? So, am I supposed to drill through 60 miles of solid rock and ice? Either that, or you'll have to, somehow, defeat Titan. Astro dude drilling through my surface? Aha! Uh -huh, I heard you! Okay, okay! What, of his own free will? Well, it's complicated. Callisto, help! Are you made of cheese? No, those are volcanoes! Let's plug him up and see what happens! Callisto! You're doing fine, Io. I'm not going anywhere, guys. We will all stay together forever. Until I become a red giant and consume you all. <laughs> uh, he, he's kidding, right? Maybe in a day, or a year, or several decades. But before you become unstable and begin to turn into a red giant, mark my words, we will all turn our backs on you.